So, you're going to be looking at the context of the Great Depression, which was an event in history at the time that Of Mice and Men was set and that it was written. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you've got that word or that phrase, the Great Depression, written as your title. And don't forget your capital letters because it is a name of an idea or a concept, the Great Depression. So make sure you've got that written down, please. So, the Great Depression started in 1929 on October the 29th when the stock market in America crashed. Now, what this means is that everyone started selling their stocks. People started selling their stocks really fast and this made people panic and think, oh my goodness, if they're selling their stocks, there must be something wrong. I better sell mine as well. And then more people and more people sold all their stocks until stocks weren't worth any money anymore. So that meant that Oh dear, Uh, this meant that millions of people lost everything. They lost all of their savings instantly. Now, that's really key. One day, some old lady might have her whole pension saved up in stocks and shares and be completely secure, and then the next, she'd have nothing. Employers might have put all of their money into stocks and shares so that they'd be able to keep paying their employees, and then the next day, they've got nothing, and all of those people won't be getting paid anymore. So it was pretty devastating for the whole country, almost overnight. So devastating, in fact, that unbelievably 25% of the workforce became unemployed. That's one in every four people had no job. Can you imagine that? That would be awful. And these people were desperate. They wanted a job. Look, you can see these men here. They say wanted a decent job. That's all they want. They don't care what kind of job it is. Because the other option is either starving, like these poor people are here, who've got no money for food, or waiting in line to get anything that they could possibly get. These people are waiting in line for some soup just because there's soup being given out to people who are unemployed and these people are waiting and waiting. And you can see here, look, it says there's no way like the American way. But obviously these people aren't enjoying the American way at the moment. So because this was so awful, because they, they, you know, one in four people had lost their jobs, many people travelled and to, they had to leave their home to try and find work. They often lived in shanty towns called Hoovervilles, and this is an example here of a Hooverville. Now, they were houses made of cardboard and wood and metal, just waste, and built up, and, and you might have to keep your whole family in one of these tiny little huts just because you'd moved away from your home to try and find work. So you really need to write down this word, Hooverville, and that's a really important word um, that people had to move and leave their homes and live in these shanty towns called Hoovervilles, which were awful. It also meant that there were vagrant workers. Now, these were people who were homeless, who would just move from place to place to try and get a job, and they were a really common sight at the time, especially in California. And there were men like George and Lenny, like these two men here, that would just move from place to place trying to find any work that they could. Now obviously the Great Depression didn't go on forever and it did end and it ended in the 1940s. Uh, it ended gradually because as World War II happened in Europe, America got involved and so it caused many jobs to be created. Um, in the army, the navy, as well as armament factories and other things like building tanks and building things that people need to go to war, all of this needed people to work there. So that meant that there were loads of jobs suddenly. So that kind of helped America out of this situation. So make sure that you write down that the Great Depression ended in the 1940s and the reason that it ended was that World War II came along and caused many jobs So that's really all you need to know about the Great Depression. You can watch this video as many times as you need to. If you need to keep going back, that's absolutely great. Um, But you need to make sure that you're adding all this information to your paper so that uh, later you can share what you've learnt with the rest of the class.